back with Eden Holan after experiencing technical difficulties, <laughs> aka replacing the batteries. <laughs> Eden, thank you for your patience, which means staying with us and not uh, running away. <laughs> In your permission, Eden, let's go back to La Réunion. Yes, La Réunion is an island east Madagascar in the Indian Ocean and um, it's a place that I discovered four years ago when I uh, assisted to Martiak Jazz Festival in 2008. I was, you know, I came as an audience and uh, I got a scholarship from uh, the um, uh, French Institute in Israel which I, I do a lot of in events for them. I sing for the ambassador for, you know, for uh, different um, events and then uh, they gave me a scholarship to go there for um, for three weeks and to meet musicians, do interviews, uh, listen and, and learn and you know and this was something that changed my life and with the help of the French Institute and the Ambassador of France that I'm really really grateful for that. And this is the time to express uh, our gratitude as well. Merci beaucoup, Merci France beaucoup. Institute. Merci beaucoup à vous pour tout de tout mon cœur. <laughs> And um, and then I uh, I arrived there and I heard unbelievable concerts and one evening I walk around and suddenly I hear something that I never heard before. I um, came closer to the stage and I saw a brilliant musician called Mehdi Gerville. He is a pianist and a singer and he uh, is a very, very important composer in my eyes and, um, and he plays a combination of jazz harmonies, great uh, solos with amazing other musicians in his group combined with the traditional rhythms from La Réunion, from the Reunion Island, uh, which is mostly rhythms that are called Maloya and Sega. And uh, it's a very, very passionate music because it's, it's very intelligent music because it's jazz uh, in the bass. Um, and then it's combined with all the passion of Africa. And, uh, and I really fell in love with this music and I was very impressed, uh, you know, from this meeting. And I, um, I came home, I started to, to understand what are those rhythms that I hear that in Israel we don't really know. And Language, the Creole language, was a mix of you know French and African language, and my life changed. I started really to, to get in contact with different musicians and to write to them to the island, and they wrote me back and to get uh, from them gifts, uh, albums, books, uh, letters. It was an amazing meeting, and uh, and we started to be in touch not only with Mehdi Gerville, also with. Uh, a very big community of musicians there and um, and then um, this was this was um, a very interesting point meeting that uh, I started to write my own music ever since 2008 and now I released my album which is the first uh, collaboration between Israel and the Reunion Islands. Historic! Yeah, it's a, it's a really first meeting between two cultures that never met before. Uh, there they never had Israeli artists before and here people don't know the Reunion Islands. So it's a, also this is one of my biggest proudness uh, that I, I can combine two cultures. It shows me what an amazing power music has. Absolutely, and uh, we and, can uh, say that in addition to all the responsibilities you carry, you are also responsible for a brand new cultural bridge between Israel and this island so far away. Sounds good. Well done. <laughs> By the way, talking yes. about sounds it's good, nice. since we have attended two of your concerts here, I must say, listening to the music coming from La Réunion and the Hebrew words you have written to yes. them and your performance, this is indeed a fantastic experience. Really, thank you very, very unique. Thank you. And I can uh, attest to that, that it touches the audience, because I was there, and the reaction is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Aviad. It's a, it's a very, very important meeting in my life uh, to be able to do this mix. And in my album, which is a combine of my, my own compositions and lyrics and production, uh, uh, there are unbelievable musicians from Israel that play, and musicians from New York, uh, and from La Réunion. 
and uh, mix in Paris. So uh, it's a big production, and now I'm I'm starting you know, more and more to to be also sent abroad with uh, with this project, and. Uh, it's a lot of work and I, I, I feel really happy to do it. Excellent. Which leads us very naturally to the following question. Talking about your plans for the future, uh, what you wish yourself, what can we wish you? Yes. Well, you know, uh, I wish uh, to be able to tour as much as I can. It's something that I would love, love to do. I can to visit with my own musical world a lot of people a lot of places and be able to, to chat, touch people's lives like uh, in Marciac uh, now I discovered that the French audience is very open to to what I gave them you know and this was the most um, amazing thing for me because I saw that on stage I can sing in French because I was born there but also to sing in Hebrew to sing in, in English, to sing in Creole, to, to be able to, to bring all my world uh, and, and to be able to, to do that, it's, uh, it's the biggest gift I can get and uh, I would love to, to be able to build a very strong um, international career, that's my dream and to, you know, I talked a lot about Israel, every time I'm touring I, I talk about my culture, about my life, about, about the people here and this is also something that I'm very lucky to be able to do. Uh, people often discover a new culture that they didn't know because of my music and, and I think we musicians are very blessed to be able to do what we do and if we work hard it's, uh, it's a big satisfaction afterwards. And then, listening to you, we feel blessed as well. <laughs> thank you. So, thank you very much, and good luck with everything that you wish yourself, and more than that. Thank you, Aviad, for that interview, and for your time, and uh, it's great to be here. Our pleasure. Toda shalom, shalom. Toda